So, yes, it's time for another espresso milk hole, but a little bit of a different espresso milk hole. Iced espresso with milk, kind of like, I guess, a latte of some kind. Stay tuned for the video. Hi, come on, guys and gals. I'm Joe, and welcome to another espresso mail call. And um, I just thought it was a little warm, so I thought I'd ice up the espresso, put a little bit of milk in there, make a big one. Oh, that tastes so good. So, for this espresso mail call, I have a bunch of comic books that have come in over the last month, but I also have a CGC comic that's come back which one this is, and I'm hoping for a 9.8, but we'll see. So before I begin, I just want to say thank you to everyone who voted for Anachronic Comics to be a finalist in the Comic Book Community Awards. And two of my uh, shows became finalists. Uh, one was the Comic Book Crowd, which is on monthly in the last uh, Friday of the month with my panel of pals where we talk about different things, comics, you know, movies, and so forth. And the other one is this particular show, the unboxing show, The Espresso Mail Call. You know, So if you're interested in this and you like it, please go to the Comic Community Awards. That's comicbcawards.org. We're in the 100 to 999 category. And take a look for unboxing because that's the espresso mail call, you know. And if you like us more than some of the others, please feel free to vote for us, and we really appreciate it. So let's take a look and see what we've got in these boxes. So the first box I've got is from QualityComics.com. QualityComics.com, and I've pre-opened these, of course, uh, to save you guys the pain of having to look through them. Let's take a look and see. Oh, a little bit of tape here, all right. Let's take a look and see what we got. All right, actually gave those. Okay, I know this is, well, okay, let me type. Some of these that I've got um, are for our, what I hope will be our second annual mystery box sale for charity show, which will probably be somewhere around the third week in November. Uh, where we'll put together some mystery boxes. Uh, I am going to match the amount that people pay for the mystery boxes, and we're going to give that to a particular charity. Last year was St. Jude's Children's Hospital. I'm looking for a different one this year, just so we can spread the love a bit. Um, the other thing too is I think I'm going to have a special um, drawing from everybody who buys a mystery box to get a signed slab. I'm deciding on how to do that exactly, but stay tuned uh, for the November show and, um, and hopefully you'll participate. So let's see what we got here. First one, and let's see. Oh, the first one is uh, Batman Reimagined by Stan Lee. I've never read this one, so I'm definitely going to read this one, and probably include it in the uh, in the charity mystery box. Next one is a 30 cent Superman comic book, number 298. Not sure what uh, what year this is from. Um, <laughs> it's pretty funny. I love the way they do this stuff. Look, I'm glad you finally realized that the world could get along without Superman. Guy getting shot, plane crashing, train coming off the tracks. <laughs> All right, cool. Next one is a Spider-Man classic from 1993. Sinister is the Sandman. And the next one is just, it's just a title that I've seen a few times. Actually, um, it's the uh, Harley Quinn New 52 number one and um, uh, by uh, Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmati. I, I don't know, it just seemed to be kind of unique. And so I decided to pick this up. These didn't cost too much money. Next one, now, when you saw my um, uh, 
Comics My Unlucky Key uh, episode on a bunch of different general comic book companies. One comic book that I did have was a Flyman comic book. And here was Flyman number 39, 12 center. And the last one from Quality Comics was Giant Size Defenders number one, a 50 cent comic book. There you go. Prominent on the cover, the Hulk, Namor, and Doctor Strange with the Silver Surfer flying there above. Okay, some cool comic books. At least some of them will be included in the November Mystery Box for Charity event. Oh, and last year we had such a great response, including some people that um, had uh, supplied um, extra money, which we, we sent about $1,200, including my uh, contribution, over to St. Jude's Hospital. So uh, this year, instead of having 10 mystery boxes with seven comics in each, I'm kind of aiming to have um, a few more. Uh, and we might do a little bit more of a twist as well. There'll be more information coming. All right, the next one came from an individual. I think I bought this on the Facebook Marketplace. Okay. Oh, yes, very cool. In connection with the video that I saw on Gary B's channel, I went out and started looking for Alien Worlds. And I did find numbers 1 to 5, 8 and 9. And um, this was from Pacific Comics. So I've been looking for numbers 7 and 8. And I did find number 7. Decent copy. Alien Worlds, Alien Worlds number 7. So now I think I'm missing number 8. No. Am I missing? No, I'm missing number 6. That's the one. So I'm going to take a look for number six. So now I have one through five, seven, eight, and nine. Good. The next one was from Lone Star Comics, um, along with Quality and a few others. Um, in one of the sellers that I frequent, and I take this apart as well. Bag they had the comic books in, and let's see. Oh, okay. Again, um, as part of the comics I'm on, let me keep. I did have a show on Marvel Tales, and I had a number of them. One that I was missing was number five. This is my comics shop, actually. So I picked up number five. And the other one, if you watch the show, and I'll put a link below if I remember. If you watch the show. Um, there was a, in one of the issues, issue number 30, there was a new story, uh, basically an X-Men story starring the Angel, which was, a, I think it was a follow-up of an older story from Kazar, if I remember correctly. And it was written by Jerry Siegel, uh, the creator, co-creator of Superman. Now, Jerry Siegel had written some comic books for Marvel, but under a pseudo name, which I can't remember offhand, but I do mention it in that video. And the story was in Marvel Tales number 30. So I had been looking, um, in addition to kind of filling in some of that early run that I was missing a couple of comic books, I was looking for that number 30 and managed to find it and pick it up. And you see there it says, besides the reprints um, of um, the Rhino uh, story and other reprints in here, it did have a bonus Spidey versus Kazar feature. And that's the story that was written by Jerry Siegel. And the last, before we get to the CGC unboxing, was another uh, Facebook Marketplace opening. And let's see what this is. Oh, some multiple comics. Oh, okay. I think I remember this one. Um, this is Champions Number no. 1, a variant edition by Humberto Ramos. Um, and this was a connecting cover with uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 19, which I believe I have in my collection. So, you know, being a fool for connecting covers, I wanted to pick this one up so I can put it in with the ASM number 19. The next one's just a number one, Impulse, number one. 
I think in the comic books, he's the Flash's grandson, I believe. Though on the TV show, he's his son. So, a little bit of a difference on the TV show. But number one. Next one was another number one, Superman Secret Origins, a six-part series in uh, 1999, I believe. This is kind of an, uh, it's become almost kind of a, at least for me, kind of an iconic cover with uh, Jonathan and Martha Kent and the young Clark. Oh yeah, now this one, oh, I think, uh, who was it? Jeez, um, oh, I can't remember. This is a uh, limited series by um, Mark Russell that connects with the Red Sonja ongoing series that he was writing. And I just like this cover. It was by a, um, I think it was by a Spanish, um, what was his name? Esteban, I remember that. Jeez, I wish I could remember his last name. Something like Salinas, I think, but I'm not sure. Esteban Salinas, I think. Just that it's a beautiful cover. You know, you can't take the cover buys out of the guy. Can't take the cover by out of the guy. <laughs> like that. All right, so I picked this up just because of the cover. And the last one, oh uh, yes, Delotto, one of my faves. Um, Amazing Spider-Man, number one. I. This is one of the covers I really like, uh, Legacy 802. The Lotto does a really great job with this cover. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, now on to the CGC unboxing. So let me tell you about this. I know which comic book this is. This is Static Number One, uh, the cover by Dennis Cowan. And I sent it in for it to be signed by Dennis Count. So this is part of the CGC Signature Series. So let me tell you a little bit of a story. And you might have seen this a few years ago um, when I was down in Florida. I discovered Hero Trader Comics. And I went in there and I found a bunch of comics from my Justice League of America Volume 1 collection. But I also saw on the side, on sale, uh, this particular static number one. And I looked at it, it looked in pretty decent shape. And I think he wanted $45 for it. I thought that was a pretty good price. So I went ahead and I pulled the trigger. So when I saw Dennis Cowan was doing a signature um, event down in Tampa at CGC, I pulled this out. I looked at it again. It looked in very good shape. So I didn't do anything to it myself. But again, in past situations, um, when I did not have CCS do a pressing um, of it, it kind of got a little mishandled or you know whatever I mean just as part of the process for the signature so I just wanted to make sure that I got that done again so I'm hoping because it was in really good shape to begin with that we got at least a 9.6 but fingers crossed for a 9.8 let's see what we got box here the usual bubble wrap the usual cardboard with rubber bands around the slab. Let's take a look and see. yes, yes. Let's take it out of the plastic. Yes, the 9.8 has occurred. There it is, my friends. Static number one, a 9.8 DC milestone from June of 1963. All right, white pages, and it says here McDuffie and Washington Story. John Paul Leon and Steve Mitchell art, Dennis Cow Cowan and Jimmy Palmati cover. First appearance of Static, Virgil Hawkins. There it is. Let's get some of that glare out so you guys can see this better. So nice. So nice. And the back. Crash. <laughs> So, I'm really happy that I managed to get the 9.8 on this one. I knew it was a high grade, um, and I was just hoping we'd pull a 9.8. So that $45, um, uh, this, I think the last sale on this was north of 300. So, not a bad investment, even with the cost of the signing involved with that. So there you go, beautiful. 
So, I didn't even take a sip, I was so excited over this. So, this was the Iced Espresso Mail Call. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you really like these espresso mail calls, do two things for me. Give this a thumbs up so more viewers can see it. And go to Comic Book Community Awards, cbcawards.org. And if you think we're worthy, please put a vote in in the 100 to 999 unboxing category for Anachronic Comics. And while you're at it, take a look at the uh, collaboration category. And again, if you think we're worthy, give a vote to Anachronic Comics and the comic book crowd. Thanks for watching, guys. Be well, and I'll see you soon.